Hello YouTube, Sandre here, and it's time for another lecture in high school physics. Today we're going to talk about constant velocity. In many cases, for practical reasons, we don't care about changes in velocity during a time period. If we are merely interested in the time it takes between point A to point B, we can imagine the journey happens under a constant velocity. When velocity is constant, it's always the same as the average velocity. So V equals dash V. So we can write V equals S divided by T, which means that S is equal to V times T. The formula tells us that the distance is proportional to time when velocity is constant. So far, we have assumed that S equals zero when T equals zero. In other words, we measure the distance from the location where the object or person is when we start the clock. If the object or person has moved a distance before we start the clock, we use a different formula. The distance formula at constant velocity is S equals S naught plus V times T. S naught is the distance taken into account before we record time. The ST graph for a movement with constant velocity is a straight line and the slope is equal to the constant velocity, V. Now let's do some tasks. Question 1. Below you find an ST graph. A. How may you see that the velocity is constant? Pause and try to figure it out before I tell you the answer. The answer is the line is straight. When you see a straight line like this, you can tell that the velocity is constant. If the slope ever changes at a certain point, you know that the velocity is not constant. B. Calculate the velocity at t equals 5 seconds, t equals 10 seconds, and t equals 15 seconds. The answer is that at t equals 5, t equals 10, and t equals 15 seconds, since the velocity is constant, as we've already previously established, that means that at all of these points in time, the velocity is the same. It's enough that we calculate the velocity at just one of these points to know the answer to all three. We might as well take the point at 15 seconds. You take 300 meters divided by 15 seconds, and you get the answer 20 meters per second. C. Calculate how long distance is traveled during the 15 seconds. You know that the formula for velocity is S divided by T. This means that you can rearrange the formula and get that the distance is equal to the velocity multiplied by the time. If you take 20 meters per second multiplied by 15 seconds, that is 300 meters. In fact, you don't even need to calculate this, however. You might as well just look at the very top of the y-axis on this graph. The highest value given is 300 meters. Question 2. If you know that 1 mile is equal to 1.609 kilometers, what is 65 miles an hour as kilometers per hour instead? What is that then in meters per second? At this point, you should be savvy enough with the math that you should have been able to calculate that 65 miles per hour is roughly 105 kilometers an hour, as well as 29 meters per second. Well, that's all for this lecture. I'll see you in the next one, where we will go through instantaneous velocity.